what the word relax means to you? What is the meaning of the state of relaxation means to you? If you want to take a step further, what's the difference between feeling relaxed and feeling freeze? How do you know that you actually relax versus freeze? And everything is relative, right? For some people, yep. they can be sitting on the beach and be stressed as can be with the shoulder up the ear, is the sand mm -hmm. on my face, I don't like the wind, I don't like this, right? Different. Right. For some people sitting down on the couch watching TV, it's a completely freeze state. Mm -hmm. Some people watch a whole entire movie and then you ask, what did you watch? just watch? I have no idea. <laughs> That's a good sign for you to start to identify. If you start noticing like you can't remember things, like you don't even notice what just happened or you don't remember the details or you're not feeling your body, you're not connected to your body. Like when you are on the beach and you're feeling the sand on your feet, you're feeling the ocean touching your leg, that is a lot of sensation, perception there, right? When you are not connected, you don't really feel your body, do you? The freeze can be a way to decrease the pain symptoms, mm -hmm. right? Because we're not feeling as much. Mm -hmm. The people that have a history of chronic pain for a lot of years has a tendency, not everybody, right? Not generalized, but it's very common because it's a defense mechanism. If I turn down the volume, I don't feel my body as much. Then it's not screaming at me as much. And then, you know, I can move on with my life. And then I'm doing things that make myself worse and I'm not even realized. But that's one of the biggest difference with the relaxing versus freeze is the awareness, is the perception. Are you in the present time? Can you see what's around you? Are you connecting to the environment? Or you like, I don't even know where I am. You know, like sometimes people talk about my body, my, my body's over here. Like my, my mind is over here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm watching myself on the outside. I'm outside of my body. But those are very common for freeze. Or if I ask, can you feel your neck? Can you feel pelvic floor is a very common one. Can you feel your pelvic floor? Can you feel your feet? If you pay attention to your body and you cannot feel a specific part of your body, chances are that that part of your body is being freeze for a long time. I have clients that say, place your hand here. I don't feel my hands. Feel your breath going into the belly. I don't feel the belly. People that had abdominal surgery, it's very common to don't feel their belly. Part of that can be numbness from the scars. Part of that can be just completely shut things down to survive. The not having that connection of what's happening to your body can be a sign of freeze. People that don't feel thirsty or hungry you can go a whole entire day and you don't even remember to drink water. That is a very common freeze state. Totally disconnect from your body. I don't know what I need. And sometimes we do that but in small amounts. Like how many times you felt you need to go in the bathroom and you're like, oh, I do that later. It's not priority. Or you feel thirsty and you're like, oh, not priority. I, let me finish what I'm doing right now. That those are the moments that we disconnect. And they can be small like that, or it can be big.